Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with snacks around the world. Yep, and today, like you might have seen in the thumbnail, it is a twofer. Two different places, two different snacks at the same time. First, we have, and I've already opened these so that we will not have to worry about Deborah proof packaging, um, is this Finn Crisp, and there's a sale tag on there, of course, multi-grain sourdough rye thins, okay? And the second item is is this plum butter with rum. Ooh, big old jar of it too. And from what I remember, it was not expensive. And this is a Polish thing. It says, old world recipe, ready to eat. Traditional taste, keep refrigerated after opening. Always safety, okay? Um, plum butter with rum. And I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the Polish. Not going to happen. Is a traditional specialty spread in Poland. It can be used to sweeten your breakfast, your sandwich, or your paski, Polish donuts. Traditional pastries to Polish cuisine. For more of our products, please visit, visit lowellfoods.com. And this is distributed by Lowell International Foods in Franklin Park, Illinois. Um, and in this, there are plums, sugar, to be expected it's a spread rum 0.2 percent so not a lot of rum and aroma i'm not sure what that means how do they put smell in a jar anyway i did open this like i said because i had to pop the seal and everything but oh it smells delightful just from the smell of it i know i want to put it on bagel with some cream cheese because that is life okay setting this down so that I can show you the Fin Crisp. Fin Crisp from Finland. That's where it's from. Baked in Finland, made by you since 1952. Fin Crisp is made from pure Finnish lake waters, sourdough, and whole grain. Tasty, crispy, and baked full of goodness. Discover the spirit of Finland with a topping of your choice. And this is made in Finland by Lantmanen Cerealia something something in Helsinki. But there is a website, fincrisp.com, that's fin spelled this way, crisp.com. And these are little thin crackers. And the uh, nutrition on this one, 13 servings per container, serving size, two slices. And it's about 10 grams of carbs for that serving with 50 calories and all the usual stuff. It's got whole grain flour. And this is basically made of good old, you know, cracker stuff. Flour, rye flour, wheat flour, oat flour, barley flour, water, millet, salt, and yeast. That's a pretty wholesome list of ingredients, right? Okay. I did open it, and it comes in a plastic package like this. Um, and they are thin. Whoa! Hello, dimension there. And they're crispy. The texture of a wheat thin with a little more stuff on it. Like, like, like if a wheat thin had some cornmeal on the outside. It's got that crunchy bit. Not, not that it tastes like cornmeal, just the texture of it. All right. I could see that being good with some dip. But <clears throat> today we're going to have it with some plum butter. <laughs> First, I want to taste said plum butter, okay? Oh, and the nutrition info on this, plum butter. A tablespoon is a serving, 60 calories, 14 grams of carbs, usual stuff like a jelly or a jam. I'm going to take just a little bit because I don't want to be overloaded with sweetness right away. Oh my. That is delicious. Tastes like, like, a sweet plum jam is what that tastes like. All right. We're going to combine the two. Take the healthiness of this guy with the sweet decadence of this. Put it together. And yeah, I think I would like this on a bagel with some cream cheese. Because I think that would be awesome. Let's stick that spoon in there. They weren't designed to go together. But... They're all right together. And a nice crispiness. 
but I think this would be better on a nice chewy bread product. I really do. Or in a pastry. Oh. Mmm. Y'all. If you get a chance to find some of this, pick it up. It, it's Somebody waved some rum around it. Like I said, it's 0.2% of rum, so I'm really not... Um, 0.2% alcohol, rather. You'd have to eat, like, you know, 20 or, 20 or 30 jars of this to feel any effects of alcohol. And by that time, you'd be dead of a diabetic coma. So there is that. Um, mm. Sorry. Enjoying the taste. Um... So where can you find goodness like this? I found these items at the European market in Greenville. I will have information on how to find them linked below. Not affiliated. It's just a place I like to go. It's on Woodruff Road in Greenville, South Carolina. If you've ever been to Greenville, South Carolina, you will know where Woodruff Road is because that's where everything is. But including all the traffic, by the way. <laughs> but it's a little shop. They import stuff from all over Europe. Um, including apparently Poland and including apparently part of Scandinavia, which is Finland. But you get a little of this, a little of that, and some of those. And I have done a lot of taste test stuff from there before because it's stuff I can't find around here normally. But is it fat girl approved or fat chick approved? This, yeah, I mean, this is, it's a cracker. There is nothing spectacular about this. Nothing out of the ordinary. This is like, I'm a healthy cracker. You know, that's what this is. This, I want to dive into a 55-gallon drum of it and just eat my way out of that drum, okay? This is delicious. Mmm. I mean, I do love plums. And you do get a nice plum flavor. And it's not overly sweet. Yes, there's sugar in it, obviously. But it's not, all you taste is sugar. No, 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 no. You are getting some good plum flavor out of this. And, yeah. Mmm. I just want to eat a spoonful of it, quite honestly. That's what I want to do. When I'm done recording this, I may cook a bagel and eat a bagel with that on it. Because I have some bagels in the house. Yeah. Do you have a favorite jam or jelly that you eat? Is it normal stuff, like normal traditional American stuff, like grape or apple or strawberry? Or do you have other flavors that you like? I think that plum has just become my favorite. It is so stinking delicious. So there is that. Anyhow, I do thank you for coming by. By the way, if you notice my beautiful scarf, I did not make this. I cannot knit. This is knitted, not crocheted. My beautiful friend Gina from Knitting Turnpike. Hopefully I remember to link up there. She did make this for me and I absolutely love it. My earrings came from my sweet friend Sue. She is not on YouTube, but uh, she's a dear friend. Anyhow, and people that are on here know who she is because she is my dear friend. And uh, I love them. Thank you, Sue. So thank you again for checking out Snacks Around the World. Where will we go next week? Who knows? But, you know, come back and you will find out. See y'all very soon. Bye now.